Already at odds over trade, budget and sovereignty, now Europe and Britain disagree on how free people are to live their lives. The UK's Prime Minister has hinted the country may pull out of the European Convention on Human Rights, saying it's simply too restrictive. Instead, the Prime Minister says Britain may make a list of its own, probably stricter standards. Jared Batten, he's the MEP for the United Kingdom Independence Party, he says it's long overdue. We've now come under the um, jurisdiction of the European Court of Human Rights, which has been responsible for many decisions that the British people are very unhappy with, like our inability to deport uh, foreign terrorist suspects. Uh, for example, then they've said that we have to give prisoners the vote. They've said that we cannot have life sentences for criminals. Uh, they must be reviewed. So our worst and most depraved killers will now have the right to have their life sentences reviewed. We have our own courts, which have been established over about eight, the last 800 years. Uh, we have our Supreme Court. If a British citizen has a problem with the British government and the British state, we have our own courts where they can seek redress. Uh, we shouldn't have to take it off to a foreign court presided over by foreign judges, many of whom are simply not up to the standard of English judges. Countries will either observe civilised values or they won't. Many countries in the EU are not quite up to that standard yet. And all this has done for us has actually meant we have all these kind of idiotic decisions that then we're obliged to adhere to. The idea of leaving the Human Rights Convention is not a new one and has been championed by the United Kingdom Independence Party in recent years. But John Lachlan, he's Director of Studies at the Institute of Democracy and Cooperation in Paris, says the impact on foreign policy should also be considered here. Britain uh, does uh, exploit the issue of human rights terribly. Uh, in its relationships with Russia. Uh, there was an occasion uh, a few months ago where a recommendation was made to uh, limit uh, the abuses committed by journalists in Britain. And William Hague, the Foreign Secretary, said that these measures should not be introduced in Britain because then uh, Britain would not be able to castigate Russia over its own uh, alleged lack of freedom in the media. So there's no consistency, and it shows how human rights have become a hypocritical mechanism uh, for uh, attacking Russia and a hypocritical instrument in foreign policy.